Alright, hey everybody, Milo here, and today we're going to be playing some Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon for the 3DS. Pretty excited to play this game, as I've never played any Luigi's Mansion games before, even the, you know, the GameCube one. I don't think there's any other one besides this one and the GameCube one. So that right there is the Dark Moon. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. Okay, so what is going to be happening here? We got Professor... Professor Egad, I think his name is. And a ghost is creeping up on him. It's going to get him. He's going to get you. We got to save him or something? No, okay, it's a friendly ghost. Okay, I don't have to do anything yet. Gotta just watch Professor Egad hang out with some ghosts. Hopefully uh, something will happen and we'll get to start playing soon. Looking back at the door. Ooh, there's a uh, King Boo. Right? That'd be King Boo. Sounds like him. One of my favorite characters in the Mario universe. Boo. I love the Boo ghosts. Alright. The, the graphics are pretty nice for the 3DS, considering this game came out almost three years ago now. 2013? I have no idea what month, though. And it's almost 2016. Surprised how lovely the graphics are. Alright, so that's a little intro video for Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. And this must be Luigi's house. We are Luigi, homeowner. Alright, what are you doing, Luigi? You're just sleeping with your lights on, your fireplace going, your TV on. Man, you are just wasting electricity. And other valuable resources. Hence the uh, fireplace. you walk up to that static ETV real slow and try and turn it off because, you know... I just love listening to staticky noise. Oh, Luigi! I need your help, Sonny. It's an emergency. The ghosts have gone hostile. Ah, what are you doing on the floor? Obviously, I was sleeping. Never mind that. I'm preparing the pixelator. Hold still, young feller. Here we go! Alright, so we have been transported through a pixelator. To that little hut thing. Okay. <laughs> he seems so upset. Poor Luigi. It's okay, little Luigi. Professor Egad's real happy you're here. Greetings, Luigi. I knew our paths would cross again. Man, I wish I played the first one, because, you know, I don't even know that our paths crossed before, really. You seem a bit tense, son. Relax, we're perfectly safe here in the this impenetrable bunker. Anywho, it's been too long, my boy. What have you been up to? I imagine you've been off adventuring with that daredevil brother of yours. Me? Oh, I've just been continuing my research on paranormal happenings and whatnot. In fact, after our last adventure, I became somewhat of an authority in the field. But enough about that. Let me fill you in on our ghostly predicament. See that on the screen? That there is the Dark Moon. It's a mysterious celestial body that has a pacifying effect on all of the ghosts in Evershade Valley. When I heard about it, I jumped at the rare chance to study ghost in a peaceful environment. It was incredible. My boy, I was doing some of the best research of my long and storied career. That is, until something snapped inside the ghost and they suddenly got all hostile. It got so bad, I had to escape from the gloomy manor and hide here, where the ghost can't find me. Of course, I'm not one to sit around and twiddle my thumbs. I wanted to know why the ghost freaked out. So, I settled in and did some research to figure out what had happened. That's when I discovered something truly astonishing. The Dark Moon had vanished from the sky. And on top of that, the whole of Evershade Valley had become enveloped in an eerie fog. 
Now, I can't be sure, but I think the disappearance of the Dark Moon is what caused all of this mess. And what a mess it is. If we don't do something about it, the ghosts might leave this valley and terrorize the world beyond. Worse still, my research will go to waste. We can't let that happen, my boy. Now, I've got good news and I've got bad news. Wait here. The good news is that I found a fragment of the Dark Moon nearby. But the bad news is that I found a fragment of the Dark Moon nearby, meaning the thing's broken. And this Dark Moon piece seems to be corrupted by some sort of energy. I reckon it's a disruptive energy that suppresses the Dark Moon's ability to pacify Ghost. But lucky for us, I've got inventions for all kinds of situations. Stand back, Sonny. Alright. <laughs> I've done it, Luigi. It seems to have regained its original power. And did you hear that whooshing noise outside, youngster? Let me check my instruments. Germany. All the fog around this bunker is gone. Quick, let's take a look at a map of Evershade Valley. Luigi, do you know what this means? We should be able to reach the Gloomy Manor now. More importantly, it means that restoring the Dark Moon will solve all our problems. If we find all the Dark Moon pieces, the fog in the valley will vanish, and the ghosts will return to normal. But until then, all those ghosts will need to be contained. That's where you come in, Luigi. Why, you're the best ghost wrangler I know, son. Coincidentally, you're also the only ghost wrangler I know. So, what do you say, young feller? Will you help me capture the ghost and restore the Dark Moon? Oh, of course you will. It'll be just like old times. Hmm. Alright, Gloomy Manor, let's do this. We have select- What are you scared of, Sonny? It's just a few harmless ghosts. Well, a few hundred ghosts, and they're not exactly harmless. But looky here, with my brains and your, uh, your... Hmm. We're in a bit of a pickle here, aren't we? Well, the only way out of this mess is to restore the Dark Moon. Which means you're going to need some ghost hunting gear, son. But wouldn't you know it, I left my new Poltergust 5000 somewhere inside the gloomy manor. So now that I've cleared that blasted fog from around the place, I'm sending you in after it. Look familiar? This customized DS has an interactive map on the gloomy manor on, on it. Did I read that right? I don't know. It'll also allow me to communicate with you while you're exploring. Alright, so we got a, uh, a DS phone thing, and it's mighty dark in there, so you'll want this flashlight. Okay, cool. Okay, youngster, let's test the DS. Alright, gotta test things out, make sure they work before you send me in. Alrighty, now check your map. I'm marking an important location there. That's the garage. I think that's where I left the Poltergust 5000. You ready, son? I'll zap you to the gloomy manor with my new and largely untested pixelator. Let's hope all the pixels make it this time. <laughs> Hold on to your mustache. Alright, so hopefully all my pixels make it there this time. Because obviously all my pixels didn't make it when he teleported me to the bunker. Must have lost like a kidney or something, but that's okay. Luigi only needs one. Alright, so we are in the front yard. We gotta go search the garage. That gate's gonna slowly open by itself. It's kinda creepy. 
Oh, whatever. Oh, and it closes. Fix Luigi out a bit. But that's alright. Huh? Yellow. Mm -hmm. Luigi, come in, Luigi. You there, young feller? Mm -hmm. Ah, there you are. I was worried that the battery died in the DS, but I turned the screen brightness down, so it should be good for a while. You look a little nervous, son. Try to loosen up a bit. Besides, tiptoeing won't get us anywhere. You can run by holding B while walking. Now get a move on. Okay, so possibly a subtle hint to tell me to uh, turn my screen brightness down, but we're not going to do that. We're run around some stuff. Um, we're going to check here before we try and go in the water. Oh, we're going to look through this. I see some green movement. And it's ghosts. Oh, they seem so happy. They seem so happy, but they're so violent. Unless the Dark Moon's put back together, I guess, and they're friendly. From what I understand of what's going on. Alright, Luigi, don't be scared. Pretty soon you'll have a, a weapon. Let's, let's try and go in now. I guess it's locked, so we gotta find it. Oh, there! I guess we don't really have to go find a key, it's right in front of us. Oh my goodness. Luigi, you, you silly bugger. Freaking out after looking at the rat for like two minutes. Uh, let's, yes, we got the key. Alright. So we can go ahead and get in. I don't think there's anything else that we can do out here right now. There might be something we can do outside once we get the, uh, the Poltergust 5000. That's pretty cool. I like how he just disappeared. Unlock the door for Luigi to go ahead and head in there. Hello. <laughs> He's freaking out. Ooh, there's some more of these. Uh, come on, coins. Nothing. Nothing. Are, are those things? They follow it. Yep, they are. Right up there. The knight's helmets, they're watching me. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and end the video there. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, go hit that like button, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And... Goodbye, friends.